University of Pisa Green Data Center has been designed in 2016 and the idea was to concentrate uh, as much as possible of the computing power in one place. Green Data Centers until today has hosted 60% uh, of the power dedicated to scientific computing. Why Green Data Center? Why Green Data Center? Because uh, when we designed the data center, the idea was to uh, try to be as green as possible in order to save as much as possible uh, power, water, any kind of technology that could help us was welcome. University of Pisa has a multi-year collaboration with tech technologies. We are established at the center of excellence and uh, the collaboration with tech technologies has been a, a foundation for the effort of the, of the Green Data Center. In the last couple of years of operation of the Green Data Center, the focus has been moved a lot on scientific computing, especially on supporting HPC and AI on accelerators. So, in the collaboration with the Dell Technologies at Intel, we set up a, a cluster of PowerEdge R760. The aim of this cluster was uh, to test uh, artificial intelligence workload performance without GPUs. During uh, our continuous uh, investigation on technologies that could help us maintain our design limits for power and cooling, we found uh, the solution from JetCool and we decided to modify the cluster using JetCool technologies in order to see how much power we can save on the infrastructure with AI workloads. We decided that the best solution for, for us was start with uh, hybrid uh, solutions like air to liquid and this is why we approach JetCool because of their standalone uh, liquid cooling uh, solutions because uh, our site uh, is complicated to implement liquid to liquid technology because of the quality of water that we have here, the fact that being inside a natural park is complicated to install outside tanks or machine for water treatment. We are still in the early phases, but the numbers that we have are quite promising. The installation was quite straightforward. It's easy to install and it's easy to maintain. You don't need infrastructure and the numbers of saving that you have are interesting. Bringing liquid cooling to traditional uh, servers in some way may be the, the, the new challenge. We are facing uh, uh, modern uh, simulation with uh, next generation cooling technologies is uh, something that we love.